Hi and Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel and this time I'm going to explain every single thing full in English. But before I want to start, I want to make sure that you already know basic of supply and demand, support and resistance, and you really have to be familiar with it because we are going to use it in the whole lessons, okay? You don't need to be serious on it, it's okay, but as long as you understand the basic is enough, alright? So these are the five fantastic setups that I'm going to show you. It is SNRC1, SNRC2, QM reversal, QM continuation, and QM manipulation, okay? So guys, please pay attention of what I'm going to show you. Now let's start with SNRC1. This is the example of SNRC1 set up from SNR and entry point. That's it. So now let's take a look. Okay, the condition to entry the SNRC1 setup must have strong resistance, must have rally-based rally. Okay, rally-based rally is the entry point and the strong SNR is the strong resistance here. Okay, look here. We have resistance and we have rally-based rally. It looks perfect, but as you can see here, this is not strong resistance. I want something like this, okay, like a capital letter. If you want to identify more clearer of strong SNR, we change to the line chart. And as you can see here, we have here is a strong resistance, here is a strong resistance, and here is the strong resistance, and here is a strong support. We have strong resistance, we have strong support, and we have strong support. Yeah, something like that. I don't want zigzag or very tiny like chicken shit here, okay? I want very strong, like A or V capital letter, okay? All right. And remember, all these strong resistance and rally base rally, they must be in the same line. This one cannot be on top. This one cannot be too low. No, okay? And uh, for SNRC1 cell, there must be strong support and drop base drop. The SOP is still the same, okay? All right, and next we move to SNRC2. SNRC2 is slightly same like SNRC1, but the entry point is different. Just now we have the entry point of rally-based rally for SNRC1, but for SNRC2 buy, we change to drop-based rally and entry at the same location where the strong resistance located, okay? All right, so here's the example of the SNRC1. We have strong resistance, and this strong resistance in the same line with rally base rally and then price came back and continue flat so this is the example of a snrc1 and here also is the example of a snrc1 we have strong resistance and this strong resistance in the same line with rally base rally and the price came back and continue fly okay and here also we have the same one we have strong resistance remember i don't want the weak Here's the example. Um, for me, weak is very fragile. I don't consider it is as a strong resistance or strong support. So as you can see here, if you change to the line chart, the weak is gone here. Okay, and we go back to the candlestick and we can see and the weak appear. So in my lesson, we don't use weak as the strong resistance or strong support. Okay, same like here. We have week here, but you can see price doesn't even interest it to retrace on the week. And price came back to strong resistance in the same line with the rally base rally and can continue to fly. All right, here is the example of the SNRC2. We have strong resistance and then we have drop base rally and then price came back and continue to fly. Okay, and here is another example. We have strong support and then we have rally base drop. Okay, as you can see here, um, a bearish engulfing also considered as rally base drop. Okay, and then price came back and continued fall. And here also we have strong support and then we have rally base drop and then price came back and continue fall. This time we have confluence. Alright, so now let's move to the QM setup. Oh, do you know that QM is a, it's a cartoon character that has a crooked or something like a 
something wrong with his shoulder. And uh, you know, this setup is not exactly same like HNS or head and shoulder. If you search in Google, there's a lot of this kind of setup. People keep sharing this setup, but you know, most traders don't take it seriously. Well, let's get started with QM reversal. So QM reversal is a QMR, but you have to memorize the structure. Okay, very easy. We have low, high, lower low, and higher high. Then where's the entry point? The entry point is at the left shoulder. Price usually retrace at the left shoulder of the QM. Okay, and then price came back and continue fly. Same as here. For sell, we have high, low, higher, high, lower, low, and then price came back and continue fall. And here is the example. We have high, low, higher, high, lower, low. See, the price came back really retrace at the left shoulder located, and then price continue fall. Okay, it's very easy. Here also we have here, we have low, high, lower, low, higher, high, and then price came back and continue fly. Same as here, here, low, high, low, low, high, high. Okay, it's very mesmerizing and it's very easy. Right, and next I'm going to show you the QM continuation or the short form of QM continuation is QMC. The structure exactly same, QM reversal, but with added trend line only, okay? We have first drive, second drive, and third drive. Remember, the lower low or higher high must be in the second drive or second trend line, okay? And remember, entry at the third drive or the third trend line, okay? And this third drive must be aligned with the left shoulder, okay? All right, this is how it looks like. We, and this is QM, okay? We have low, high, low, low, higher, high, and then we also have trend line in here. Entry is on the third trend line. Another, and here is another example. But we notice here we have another QM. This time we have trend line over here. Okay, so this is the example of QM continuation. We have high, low, higher, high, lower, low entry at the third trend line. And this must be in the same line with the left shoulder. And last we have here is QM manipulation or we call it QMM, but it's quite uh, different. Why? Because um, this time price didn't respect the QM reversal. Okay, as we know here, we have low, high, low, low, high, high. On the other hand, price break this structure. So um, don't be sad, okay? And we look for the drop base drop that is in the same line with the left shoulder. So we can counter back in this area. Here's the example of QM manipulation. We have high, low, higher, high, lower, low. Okay, and then price came back. You know, like we should sell here, but but the price break this structure and create rally base rally. And then after that, price came back to the entry point that is exactly in the same line with the left shoulder. And the price came back and continue fly. And um, here also we have low. High, lower, low, higher, high. You can see here price create bearish engulfing or rally base drop. And then when price also break the lower low, you can see that the price came back. And also you have to make sure that this rally base drop is in the same line with the left shoulder. And you can see here the price came back and continue fall. I think that's all for now. And I hope that this video benefits you. Assalamu alaikum.